Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome to what is hopefully a very quick update video. So to begin with, as the title may suggest, I am going to be taking questions in this video's comment section for a Q&A I'm going to be doing in around about two, maybe three weeks time. It's been a very long time since the last Q&A, people keep on asking me certain questions, and I think it's about time we do a bit of a Q&A video. Also, Q&A videos are always relaxing and fun to do. I will answer as much as possible, but obviously there's a good chance there will be too many questions to answer everything as even last time there was and that was when I was again a much smaller channel so here's hoping I can answer as many as I can. And now of course for the actual update section of the video. So a lot of you have noticed that over the last few weeks I've been uploading a little bit more frequently but also with a lot more variety because honestly I really want to get back to my roots of being a variety gamer and a variety channel. Over the last year as much as I do adore from the depths and terror tech and stuff like that I think I've became a little bit too stagnant playing one specific genre and one specific type of game and as much as I do love them it's not really what I want to do with the channel so I am going back to my roots we are going to be playing a lot more just random games which I find a lot more one-offs so first impression videos stuff like that in the future and as for the Q&A if you have any suggestions for um, different games please tell me in the comments below as well I also want to say a huge thank you to everyone everyone who's been so supportive of me doing these type of videos. I am always nervous about doing this because of course I get much lower viewership and it isn't about the money but it is about how YouTube's algorithm really destroys you if you don't get good viewership and interaction and stuff and I can say without a shadow of a doubt people watching Stellaris and everything else you have been fantastic. All the likes and the comments and the interaction it really does make me feel so good to see people who actually enjoy the new kind of out of the blue content. So a huge thank you there. Now, as for part two of the update, over the next week and a half, I won't actually be in the office. I won't be able to record new videos, but thankfully, over the last week and a half, I have been just working madly, so I should have a video every day I'm gone, or at very least, every second day I'm gone, so you won't even notice that I'm gone, is the idea, and the word gone is now sounding really weird. The word gone has gone to madness. Anyway, I really do hope that when I'm gone, you won't notice that I'm gone with the amount of videos while I'm gone. I will of course be able to answer comments and all that sort of stuff like usual though so don't worry about that there will always be interaction from me and if you ever need to know where I am or what I'm doing Twitter is the place to go and that is the final update right here I am going to be closing down my Facebook page in the next probably month, month and a half. I will be posting on there talking about this just because I do not like Facebook. I do not like using Facebook. I love using Twitter. I can't stand using Facebook. I find it difficult to use and I find it difficult to interact with people and overall it, I just don't end up using it and then I come back to it and people get confused. So the Facebook channel will be leaving fairly soon which means in the description of my videos the Facebook link will be gone etc etc. So anyone confused about that suddenly vanishing that is the reason. I actually get a surprising amount of people talking to me on Facebook, so I do know that does apply to quite a few of you. So hopefully that's going to be okay with everyone, I do apologise if you don't have a Twitter account. I will of course always be updating the major things on the channel and anything little over on Twitter. And back to the fact I'll be gone, I will state where I've been and everything else in a big update video when I get back. Don't worry, it's certainly not a bad thing. In fact, it's an incredibly good thing. I just don't want to talk about it right now because it's going to be a bit of a jinx thing. It's all kind of came out of nowhere and hopefully it'll be a great, in fact, a fantastic experience. But right now... I just don't want to jinx anything. So with that, thank you so much for watching. I hope I will be back soon to talk to you all. And remember, and of course at that point I had a horrible coughing fit, so I was just hanging on. And remember, <coughs> so remember, ask me any questions you would like in the comments. Please keep it civil and I will try to answer all the good ones when I get back. Thank you so much for watching, paying attention, and probably watching ships explode in the background. Because let's face it, from the depths footage is always the best footage. Thank you so much for listening, and goodbye. Also, can I just say that that footage synchronized so well, I didn't need to edit it. And I, as I said goodbye, the last ship died. Thank you, our lovely play guard. Also, because people ask about the play guard, why were certain weapons not firing, this is a slightly neutered version of the play guard, where half its weapons are offline, which I use for footage. Thank you again for watching, and goodbye.